Hey everyone, it's Carrie here from the Female Entrepreneur Association. So today I want to talk about something that I think a lot of entrepreneurs feel and face but probably don't often talk about and it is this, waking up in the morning and thinking to yourself, what the hell am I going to do today? And feeling really lost, really confused and totally demotivated, perhaps even to the extent of not actually wanting to get out of bed because you don't know what on earth you're doing. Well, if you ever feel like this, then don't worry because I feel like this sometimes too. <laughs> and I think that so many entrepreneurs feel like this because the truth is, and the reality of being an entrepreneur is the fact that it can be really, really lonely and isolating. And also as entrepreneurs, we don't have any managers to tell us what to do or how to do things, what we need to be doing on a daily basis, what we need to be doing on a weekly basis. We haven't got someone there reviewing things with us and showing us the way. Um, well, at least not for most of us anyway. Um, and we don't have colleagues around us, people that we can be there to help give us that motivation and that boost throughout the day. And so all of those things combined can end up leaving you feeling really demotivated. There have been so many times where I've gone through phases of feeling like I've just lost my inspiration, lost my drive, lost my motivation. Motivation. I wake up in the morning and think, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. And you get that really bad sinking feeling inside, just feeling like, oh, that awful feeling where you feel like you've got no purpose for the day. And it's really tough. And the problem is, is that when you go through one of these phases of feeling really demotivated, it's hard because you can't then drive your business forward in the right direction. And you then decide, you, well, you don't have the drive to make it happen. So then you don't make the progress that you want to make and you don't take the business forward. So when you get into these stages as an entrepreneur, it's really detrimental. And I know because I have been there, I have been there so many times. When I was running my first business, it was an online business and I'd outsourced basically everything. So effectively, I didn't actually have to do anything on a day-to-day -day basis in order to, for it to generate revenue. I was focusing on, on business development. And so on the one hand, that was amazing. But then on the other hand, I felt like I'd sometimes wake in the up in the morning and I wouldn't have to do anything. There wouldn't be anything urgent for me to do. I wouldn't be like, right, I've got to do this, this and this today. And so I ended up feeling myself drifting, just drifting along. And then I kind of got into a lull with everything and then I felt really demotivated. And then I would wake up in the morning and think, what should I do today? And some days I probably just woke up and just worked in bed for absolutely ages and it, it can be a really awful feeling inside me. I, I used to actually feel guilty about it and just look at my, all my friends going off to work with you know going waking up really early going off to work getting up being having focus having purpose and I'm just be like oh my gosh I need that in my life in fact there have been a number of times where I've thought to myself I just need to go and get a job so I can be in that situation where I can get up early and go to work and someone can tell me what I need to do but Obviously, I didn't do that and I didn't give up on my dreams, but I think that but I had to figure out a solution. I had to figure out a way to get over this feeling, to figure out how I could motivate myself again, how I could pick myself up out of these lulls. So in this episode, I want to share with you some things that have really, really, really helped me to overcome this stuff. And they still help me today because I go through these phases even now where I wake up and I just think, what am I doing? Because it's hard to stay on top of it 24 seven. It's hard to stay focused all the time. It's hard to stay motivated all the time. So I do do go through these phases still. Um, I'm sure all entrepreneurs consistently keep going through these phases but I have learned some things which have helped me so much and they always help me to pick myself up out of this situation so that it doesn't become detrimental to my business and so that my business can still grow and develop even if I am feeling a little bit demotivated. So the first thing is this, change your perspective. I think mindset is everything and I talk about this all the time. I, I think your greatest asset is your mind. So you really have to program it for success. And so for me, this changed everything. When I was feeling really miserable in my, when I was building my first business and felt really lonely, really isolated, was feeling drifting, didn't know what my purpose was, waking up thinking, what the heck am I doing with myself? What am I gonna do today? I was choosing to wake up and focus on all the bad things, on all the things that were making me feel bad about myself, on all the things that I didn't know how to do or didn't know what to do about, rather than focusing on the great things and being grateful for what was amazing in my life. And when I realised that I was choosing this, it helped me to basically change my perspective. And just like Victor Frankl said, 
you get to choose how you respond to the situations you're faced with. So if you are feeling really quite lonely and isolated and you feel like you're drifting and feel demotivated um, building your business, then take a step back and realise that you get to choose and change your perspective on how you're looking at everything. Instead of waking up feeling like you don't know what to do, wake up and focus on what you're really grateful for that day. Focus on all the great things in your life and then change your perspective as well. So this really helped me. I decided to give myself a break from feeling bad about not having everything figured out or not knowing what I was doing. So wake up in the morning and think to yourself, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do today, but I'm going to, I'm, so what? I'm going to figure it out. It's okay. It's okay not to have it all figured out. It's okay if I wake up one morning and don't know I don't have a plan. It's fine. Give yourself a break. That was one of the best things I ever did for myself was to give myself a break. So just change your perspective. It changes everything. Take control and you can do that through your mindset. I think that's the best thing ever. And then secondly, create a game plan. So I realised that I was feeling so lost and confused and drifting day to day because I didn't have a game plan, because I didn't have goals that I was working towards. I didn't really know where I was going anymore. And I think so often it's easy to get into this situation because most of us forget to set our goals, most of us forget to set intentions. You know, if you're being honest with yourself, on a month by month basis, do you get to the beginning of the month and sit down and think, right, what are my intentions for this month? What do I really want to achieve this month? When I get to the end of this month, what will it have looked like? What will I have done? Do you honestly do that? Most people don't. If you do, then that is incredible, but most people don't do it, do it. and it's so important because it'll give you that focus so you know what you're working towards and and that is so important when it comes to motivation. So sit down and write your intentions. Do it monthly, do it weekly, do it daily. So you always know what you're working on. It, that helps me so much. So once you've created your game plan, then create a timetable for yourself. This is so important because when you're at school or when you have a job, you generally have some kind of routine. As an entrepreneur, that routine goes out of the window. You have to create your own routine. And I think it can really help if you sit down and take your game plan and put it into a timetable. So you know, when you wake up on a Tuesday morning, right, it's Tuesday. Today, I'm doing this, this and this. I know exactly what I'm gonna be doing and I'm gonna get on and do it. You'll feel like you can get out of bed with ease because you know what you're working on, you know what you're working towards, you know what you are doing. So take a game plan and turn it into a timetable and do that it will help you so much and then also get out and network and meet like-minded people that you can talk to about this stuff that you can have these kind of conversations with this helped me so much because I spent so long especially building my first business feeling really unhappy and miserable and lonely and isolated and demotivated and I would sit there and feel these things all on my own all day long by myself and it would just get worse and worse and worse so but you've got to get out you've got to get out and meet meet like-minded people because because you are not alone, you are not going through this alone. So many other people out there feel like this and you need to find those people and have those conversations. You know, when I started to build up my network team and like my support team around me, it meant that when I had a day where I did, did wake up thinking, what am I doing today? I could pick up the phone and be like, oh, I'm having one of those days. And it'd be like, the person would be like, yeah, I had one of those days last week and I did this, got through it. Or someone to tell me, you know what, go and have a cup of tea, put your feet up, go and read an inspirational book and just take some time out for you. So those are just some of the things that have helped me so, so much. So if you ever feel like you feel like you don't know what you're doing and you just feel really demotivated, then try out these things because hopefully if they work for me, they will work for you too. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I would love, love, love to hear what you think about it all. Have you ever gone through one of those phases where you just feel like you're in a lull or you feel totally demotivated and you wake up in the morning and you think, what am I doing? If you have, then please leave a comment over on the blog and let us know because it'll be really inspiring to read and it'll be helpful for everyone else to know that we're not alone in this that we all do go through these phases and it's you can get out the other side and then also share your tips what helps you to pull you through it what helps you to keep you going I would absolutely love to hear about it so please leave a comment and I will see you next time